All right, here's my first video in my GoPro Hero 8. This is going to be a wrap up of what I found today. Nothing really spectacular, but I found an old chain and five railroad spikes, which is kind of weird because Hope doesn't have a railroad. I never did have a railroad, as far as I can remember. I kind of did some history on it and I couldn't find anything. Very strange. They were all six or seven inches deep too, so they've been there a while. Not an amazing day, but interesting finds. Hopefully this video is going to be okay. Let's get some more. Okay, there's a nice 1700s cellar hole here. I've been doing this for about three years. In this area, it's over 100 acres around here. I haven't found that much in here. A couple of colonial shoe buckles. Some flat buttons. No really old coins though. Looks like somebody's been cleaning it up, so I'm gonna hit it again today. See what happens. Let's get some treasure. Alright, here's the wrap up. I spent an hour in here digging a bunch of nails. Hoping to find something good, but it's kind of tough with all these nails. You can see I got a pile of nails, I got a shotgun shell, got a piece of a file. I'm not really sure what that is. Obviously mounted somehow somewhere. Did get a little button, an iron button. Probably for long johns or something like that. And I got a little brass cap to something. I have no idea what that's for. Not a great day, but eh, something to do. So let's get some more. All right, I'm out in the woods behind a baseball field here. And I got a 90 signal. I said, oh boy, silver. Well, it's not silver, but about five inches down. Little sign erected by General Fence, Providence, Rhode Island. I would say that's probably 1950s, maybe, maybe 1960s. I'll have to look it up when I get home. It's a little bent, but maybe I can flatten it out. Aluminum. Kind of a neat find. Let's get some more. Okay, I'm in the woods along the edge of a walking trail. Finally decided to rain around here, so I figured I'd go out. And this is like a high 60s, low 70s signal. And I kept pulling out coins here. And I definitely see one Indian head penny on the right there. Could be an Indian head penny spill. I'm going to have to clean them up. They look pretty toasty. But that would be pretty good. Three in one hole. I'll clean them up and let you know what I got. Alright. Deep in the woods today. This is about 50 feet from where I got my three Indian head pennies the other day. I was going along this down tree, I got an 81 signal. And as you can see, I made a mess. I pulled that coin out and I kept getting more signals. So to make a long story short, I ended up with a six coin spill. It looks to be four Indian head pennies, a barber dime, and a seated liberty dime. Very interesting. They're pretty crusty. I don't know if I can clean them up, but obviously a great find. Let's get some more, guys.
Okay, here we are, pound the ground. A lot of people here. Beautiful place, and horses. Very nice. Let's get some treasure. Okay, pound the ground. This is one of the fields I've been doing. It's a really good field. Quite a few guys here. Beautiful place. And find the day is I get two Morgans and a peace dollar. Quite a few coins. Going very well so far, but well, let's get some more. All right, three hours in. Taking a break from pounding around. This is what I found so far. I've got like, I think, 790 in silver. That's pretty good. Two Morgans, two Peace Dollars, a Barber Half, Walking Liberty Halves. Really good day so far. I actually got a relic too, I think. I think that's a saddle shield. Not positive, but it's kind of a neat find. Don't know if I'll find any more, but still got another five hours to go. Pile on the ground. Let's get some more.